In the past 9 or so months, I've been working on this little program on and off, and now it is over 30,000 lines of code. It allows you to quickly and accurately measure the effectiveness of your primary, secondary, and melee weapons with your specified build, which I used to test every single weapon in Warframe and make these three videos. But you do have to consider that this is literally my first ever project in Python or any programming language for that matter. So go easy on me. But if you do end up snooping around in the code, do tell me what I could have done better. It sure took a while, but now which I consider it mostly finished, I'm making it available for anyone to use. It is licensed under Apache 2.0 which allows you to freely use and modify the code as you wish, as long as you include a copy of the license and the notice that comes with it. Basically you just have to say it is Apache 2.0 and attribute the author. By the way, none of this is legal advice. So now I'm going to tell you how to actually use this thing. First you have to install Python, and I would recommend using a community edition of PyCharm to run the program. I will leave links to both in the description. So after you got the right stuff installed, just open this file. It'll ask you if you want to open it in a new project or stay in light of it. You should open it in a new project. Then you have to tell it where you want to save this project. I will simply make a new folder in C. After it opened, go to the damage system tab, then right click on the analyzing top right and make it syntax. Then control A and control C to copy everything and then paste it in main and disable the analyzer here as well. Now wait till right click shows the option to run main, but don't run it yet. We need to tell it where to save the results at. So press control shift and minus key and then scroll down to log path. This is where we should drop the path. So go and open the folder you made for this project and make another folder like results inside it. Now open the results folder and then click here and copy. Then paste it between the double quotes here. If it uses backslashes, make sure to change them to forward slashes. And also pay attention that it shouldn't end with a slash. And that's all for the setup. To actually run tests, you have to set up your controller variables properly. They are from print stuff all the way down to just print stats. I'll give you a short explanation, but if you want more details on each one, then click on this thing right above print stuff to see a bit of a more detailed explanation. So from the top, if you set print stuff to one, it will show you every instance of damage on every single enemy. Only use it when your test group and repeat count are very small. Brief log stuff will save your results in the specified path. You can set it either to zero or one. Repeat count is the number of times your test groups will be iterated before you get your results. Usually I keep it at 500 to get fairly consistent results. If you set it too high, it will take forever to calculate. And if you set it too small, the randomness will cause inconsistent results. And if you're using test style groups, then this should at the very minimum be 100, or you will have problems with print consistency and might get errors. Test all groups is the single target test. It will test on Grenier, Corpus and Corrupted and will give you some nice results. If you have it active, make sure every other test group is inactive. AOE test group is, well, the AOE test group. It'll only work properly on weapons that have actual AOE damage, otherwise you will get a whole bunch of errors. Custom test group lets you test on any enemies you want to test against. If you set it to one, make sure to set other test groups to zero. Then you can list your target enemies in the original enemy list, like this. Weapon list is where you put the name of the weapons you want to test. All in lowercase, of course. If you run into any issues like this, then simply select the name you've written and press Ctrl F, and then press this up arrow. If you've spelled it right, then you should find the proper name. In this case, it would be Tenora Prime Auto, because Tenora Prime has multiple fire modes. Enemy level list is where you put the level of enemies you want to test your weapons against. This is only activated if mastery rank is set to negative one, and it absolutely must have the same length as the weapon list. If you have two weapons, then you should have two levels listed here. Instead of repeating the same level, you can also write it like this. One more thing that you should pay attention to is that you shouldn't set the level below 16 because you'll run into minimum level issues with some heavy units. Next up is mastery rank, which you can use to organize your tests if you want to do a lot of them, like this instead of this. It will both change the enemy levels your tests are against and change the file name where you save your results so everything can get organized. And the levels go from 16 when mastery rank is set to 0 to 40 at 7 and 100 for 8 and above. Then we have headshot, which is self-explanatory. 1 is headshot and 0 is body shots. And don't worry about enemies with headshot multipliers of 1 like MOAs. It has already been sorted out. Further down we have heavy attacks, which only affect melee weapons and do make sure to set this to 1 when you're testing something like a path assist charge throw. And here are the big boys, if use build is set to 1, it will try to use the build stored inside the weapon build function, assuming there is one. 
And if there is more than one, it will use the one build number tells it to. It goes one, two, three, and so on. Otherwise, you can use your own custom build by setting use build to zero and then entering your own build right here. Since you don't know what I named each mod, I included a file named mods which contains all the mods you'll need and what I called them. I tried to be pretty simple, stuff like base damage, multi shot, critical chance, primed critical chance and so on. Next up we have custom stat which lets you set up your own weapon or maybe a weapon that got added after I released this video so it isn't inside the stat banks. To use it you set this to 1 and then control F on the custom stats and then go one down open this up and here you can enter your specific stats. But this is quite complex so you probably won't use it. And that's the gist of it. So let's run two different tests. First I'll test the Supra Vandal with full single target at level 100 and next we will try Cernus Prime against a single level 5000 heavy gunner. So first we enter the weapon name, all lowercase between single quotes of course. Then we enter the correct level which is 100. Now from the top, print stuff should be disabled. We'll have brief log on, the path is correct. We do want consistency, repeat count at the stand at 500, test all groups at 1 and other test groups are disabled. We'll have mastery rank disabled with negative 1, headshots active, we want to use the built in build for this weapon, thus use build at 1. And everything else is good as is. So let's see. One note as this thing is being done, the higher your weapon's fire rate and multi shot are, the longer it will take for a test to finish. Same goes for repeat count of course. Now let's give Cernus Prime a spin. So we type the correct name, set print stuff to 1 as we want to see the damage numbers, repeat count at 1. We can disable consistency but it will auto disable since repeat is below 100 so it's fine. We disable all test groups but the custom, set the level to 5000 and for enemies we just want the corrupted heavy gunner. Mastery rank at negative 1 and headshots active. We go down to use build and disable it. Then we type our own build, in this case I already entered it. And we run it. And since it is only one target, it is lightning quick. Since one was that fast, let's disable the print stuff and instead set the repeat to 500 and get some averages. And just like that, we got the results. And that should be all the info you need to test your builds. Obviously there are still many things that can be done better and I have no doubt there are many bugs I could fix, especially after the major overhaul the code went through for melee weapons. So if you run into any problems, just tag me in my Discord server. While I can't promise I'll fix all the problems, especially if very few people end up using it, at the very minimum, I will hear you out. So I'll see you guys next time and bye bye.